papers. Fergus Walsh reporting there. Well, joining us from our studio in Middlesbrough is Jesse Joe Jacobs, who's the chief executive of A Way Out, an outreach group working closely with young people with a range of issues such as alcohol. Thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening on BBC News. Uh, I mean, the figures for the North East are absolutely staggering. I mean, an increase of some 400% in those people in their early 30s um, experiencing alcoholic liver disease. Uh, what do you put that rise down to? Um, I mean, I guess in the North East we do have a reputation for kind of working hard but also playing hard and times are tough um, up here and, and I think that contributed with the fact that alcohol is so socially accepted and even promoted as a lifestyle choice and, and there's very little information out there that's kind of promoting the, the negative consequences. So I think it's a culmination of all of these things that is, is creating such an epidemic around alcohol. I mean, the overall figures, as we were hearing in that report from Fergus Walsh, uh, for the incidence of alcoholic liver disease are actually coming down. It's among certain groups that we've got a problem here. And you work with young people, um, as, uh, with your organisation. What do you think is driving so many younger people towards binge drinking, that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it, it's a culture and it's a lifestyle. Uh, it's, it's what people do, it's an activity. And, uh, and the problem is that it's also an escapism. And, and we see young people who, uh, who I know will not reach their 30th birthday, who are, are not going to live to see their 30th birthday. They are not aware when they start on, on this binge drinking culture how addictive this drug actually can be. And when you couple that with deep rooted issues such as poverty, depression, mental health, uh, then you've kind of got a recipe for disaster. And what's the way forward then? I mean, we heard one consultant uh, saying that uh, alcohol is way too cheap, advertising yeah. for alcohol is too prevalent, it's all over the place. Do you agree that there should be a clamp down perhaps on advertising? There's got to be. I mean, the government need to take the same approach that they're taking with cigarettes, drugs and obesity. This is a serious public health concern and something needs to be done. You know, £3 billion it's costing the NHS. We know we're in a mess financially and actually by really coming down and hitting hard and targeting the young people that this advertising is affecting and curbing that, having a much more sensible approach to it, has got to be a way forward and we've got to do more around education and public health education. You know, young people need to know that this can be an addictive and a dangerous drug if not used sensibly or socially. And um, so having said all that then, I mean, can you point to any specific examples of young people that, that, that you're dealing with at the moment who are, are in this situation? Yeah, I mean, just, just the other day, I was talking to a girl, she's 27, she doesn't, she's not allowed to see her children anymore, her children will be taken into foster care, um, and she is desperate to find a way out, but she just cannot, um, she can't stop drinking. She wakes up in the morning and she's probably drinking, um, you know, a bottle of vodka a, a day, and this is the one, you know, these are some of the ones who are not going to see their 30th birthday. Okay, Jesse Joe Jacobs, thanks very much for joining us, thank you.